and welcome. Today we'll be going over section 3.2 on nonlinear models. So we'll start with a population model. And suppose change in population with respect to time. Earth P by A minus B P minus H. So H here is H greater than zero. Number of animals harvested. Per unit of time. And P of zero is just going to be P naught. Uh, so for this particular example, uh, we're going to let A equal eight, B equal one, and H equal 12. So then change in population with respect to time is worth product of the population by 8 minus 1 times the population minus 12. So we can do a, a little bit of work on that right hand side. <clears throat> we'll just distribute, uh, we'll call this opposite of b squared uh, plus 8b minus 12. We can factor a negative one from that, and then that's a factorable quadratic. So change in population with respect to time, negative one times p squared minus eight p plus 12. So change in population with respect to time, negative one times, uh, let's see, uh, p minus two by p minus six. So we have a nonlinear case, uh, but we can use separation of variables at this point. We can get all of the p-related variables onto one side, all of the t's onto the other. Uh, so dp over p minus two by p minus six is worth opposite of dt. And then we can just do a little bit of partial fractions on the left hand side to make the integration easier for us. So we'll use just a little let line, let one over P minus two by P minus six equal A over P minus two plus B over P minus six. Clearing the fractions then uh, we have one is equal to a by p minus six plus b by p minus two, and then we can we can just select convenient values of p. So let p equal two. So then one is worth a by negative four. So a is negative one fourth. Let p equal positive six. 1 is worth b times positive 4, b is positive 1 fourth. So then the left hand side becomes integral of, instead of 1 over p minus 2, p minus 6, becomes negative 1 fourth over a was over p minus 2 here. Plus b 1 fourth over the quantity p minus six, close it up, multiply by dp. And that's worth taking the integral then of the other side minus dt. So we have negative one fourth natural log p minus two 
plus one fourth natural log b minus six is worth minus d plus c. In this case, it's going to be more convenient to actually uh, kind of put these guys together. Uh, so we can make those one fourths into uh, exponents and call this natural log of p minus six over p minus two to the one fourth. It's worth minus t plus c. So each of the one fourths became an exponent uh, the plus stayed up top, the minus dropped to the bottom. So then you can do E raised to on both sides. So we now have p minus 6 over p minus 2 quantity so the 1 fourth is worth e to the minus t plus c power so we're adding with the same base or I'm sorry we're adding exponents so that means we were multiplying with the same base uh, so we can turn that into c e to the minus t on the right hand side We still have our p minus 6 over p minus 2 to the 1 fourth. We're now equal to c e to the minus t. If you want to keep track of which c is which, you can put a little subscript 1 on that. Uh, really, it's just kind of the, the final version that is more useful. So then uh, we can raise both sides to the fourth power and call this p minus 6 over p minus 2 is worth c1 e to the minus t to the fourth. Constant to a power is still a constant. So let's see, we'll, we'll sort of put a little star by this. We're going to use this guy in a minute, but let's try to solve this for p. So p minus 6 over p minus 2 is worth c2 over e to the 4t. So p e to the 4t minus 6 e to the 4t is worth c2 times p minus 2 c sub 2. We'll get all the p's to one side and factor e to the 4t minus c sub 2 is worth 6e to the 4t minus 2c sub 2. So p is e to the 4t, 6e to the 4t minus 2c sub 2 over e to the 4t minus c sub 2. Two. Okay, so going back to the star, uh, we can find our value for the c sub 2. So we learned at the beginning p of 0 is worth, we'll just call it p naught. So p naught is worth 6e to the 4 times 0 minus 2 c sub 2 over e to the 4 times 0 minus c sub 2. So p naught is worth 6 minus 2 c sub 2 over 1 minus c sub 2. So p naught minus p naught c 2 it's worth 6 minus 2c sub 2. So we'll get our c sub 2s on the, to the same side. So 2c sub 2 minus p naught c sub 2. So we just move 
uh, this guy to the left hand side and we'll move this guy to the right hand side as we're 6 minus p naught so c sub 2 is 6 minus p naught over that would be the and we factored out the c2 so we're left with 2 minus p naught So we have now P is equal to 6E to the 4T minus 2 times 6 minus P naught over 2 minus P naught over 2 minus C sub 2 over e to the 4t minus and our c sub 2 again is the 6 minus p naught over 2 minus p naught. So we can do uh, a little bit of cleanup, get rid of those uh, sort of the fraction within a fraction thing. Uh, so we'll multiply top and bottom by 2 minus p naught. So we have 6e to the 4t by 2 minus p naught minus 2 by 6 minus p naught. And then downstairs uh, we have e to the 4t being multiplied by 2 minus p naught minus one by the six minus p naught. So we can do a, a little bit of cleanup on that. So we have 12 e to the 4 t minus 6 e to the 4 t And then we have minus 12 plus 2 p naught. And then downstairs, 2 e to the 4 t minus p naught e to the 4 t minus 6 plus p naught. So then we want to know, okay, uh, is there going to be a point where this population will end up going extinct? And if so, when? Well, if that happens, uh, then we have a case where P is equal to zero. So 0 is 12e to the 4t minus 6e to the 4t minus 12 plus 2p naught over this guy really won't factor into it because as soon as we multiply it by 0, so I'll just put little quote marks for bringing this guy down here. I normally don't do that, but for this one it's not going to factor into the problem at all. Uh, our denominator won't. Uh, won't affect it when we're setting it to zero. So now we have, as far as when this will happen, zero is worth 12e to the 4t minus 6e to the 4t minus 12 plus 2 times p naught. We're solving for t, so these two guys have t attached. We'll move the other two to the other side. So 12 minus 2 p naught is worth, uh, you can factor the e to the 4t. We have 12 minus 6. I guess we could just have 
Apologies for the uh, little uh, jump cut here. Um, I just realized when I was distributing, I left off my P not on that guy. Okay, so we have uh, P not should be attached to him as well. Okay, so we have 12 minus 2 P naught over 12 minus 6 P naught is worth e to the 4 times t. We're solving for t, so we'll take the natural log of both sides, so natural log of, and we can factor a 2 top and bottom, make it a little smaller, uh, 6 minus P naught uh, over uh, factoring 2 there, we got 6 minus 3p naught is worth 4 times t. So we took the natural log of e to the 4t. That spits out a 4t. So t is 1 fourth natural log 6 minus p naught over 6 minus 3p naught. And really we have a, a few different categories here. Uh, so the uh, places where we have kind of a change in behavior um, is if P naught is 6 or 2. So things that would make the numerator or denominator here a 0. Uh, so the intervals that we'll look at um, from 0 to 2 2 to 6 and 6 to infinity. So then we'll try out each of these intervals and see if we get a positive value for t. A negative value for t doesn't make sense and we would discard the solution. Uh, so testing out something on the interval 0 to 2, uh, 1 would be a good enough entry for that. Uh, one fourth natural log of six minus one is five. Uh, six minus three is three. And this is positive. So this means this could happen if t, uh, the initial population is on here. And then this is the model that would cause the extinction. And then we check initial population on the other two intervals. So uh, pick out uh, maybe um, a 4. We're just doing one guinea pig per section. So 1 fourth natural log of 2 over uh, a negative value. Natural log of a negative uh, does not exist. So that is a contradiction. We're good to go if the population is on 2 to 6. And finally, let t be uh, something greater than 6, 10. 1 fourth, natural log, uh, so 6 minus 10, negative 4, and 6 minus 30, and then that will kick us over to negative 24. So one fourth natural log of one six. Uh, natural log of one six is a negative. Positive times a negative is a negative. Also a contradiction. So there's only one interval where we go extinct. And that's at time t equals one quarter natural log of six minus p naught over uh, six minus three p naught, where p naught is in 
this 0 2 interval. Now, uh, just as a heads up on some of these, where you choose to put your negative, some of your answers might look slightly different. Um, for example, uh, this last one, and I cho uh, chosen to uh, put the negative on the other side here. Uh, we would have had a few sign changes, which would have resulted in different looking fractions along the way, but they still would boil down uh, to these ratios that we had here. So our, our final answer, our decision wouldn't change. Uh, it would just, again, uh, look slightly different along the way. Uh, so in 3-2, uh, just sort of a, a handful of them to try. Uh, 1B, uh, number 3, 5B and C, 7B and C. And that should be enough practice for this kind of problem. If you have uh, any questions, please get in touch. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.